you know, over the summer, you get to play in the Gold Cup for the U.S. That's kind of your first opportunity to play in real meaningful games um, for the red, white, and blue. What was that like for you? Yeah, so um, like growing up, I haven't played in, with the national team ever. Um, so to be able to make my, my debut with the first team, I think, was a special moment for me. And um, I felt like I had a lot to prove to, um, you know, the coaching staff and, and to my country. So I was, I was uh, urgent to, to get on the field and to be able to show what I can do. And that's why, you know, I didn't go to preseason with uh, Schalke. I saw it being more beneficial for me to go to the Gold Cup to hopefully, um, you know, throw my name in the mix to go to the World Cup. You beat Mexico in that Gold Cup final. And some of your, how do we say, gamesmanship uh, was really enjoyed by American fans, kicking the ball away, kind of stuff like that. Um, is that a real big part of your game? Um, you know, like, I think uh, sometimes as a player, you like to get in the other, per in the other team's head. Um, you know, and sometimes, you know, you have to find the right time to do that. You know, you don't want to make the wrong people mad, but, um, you know, I think there's a time and place for everything. And that was the game to, you know, be that player and to step up. So, yeah, I think, we I think it worked out. We bit. won the game. Yeah. Yep, for sure. Um, I think I saw you used like a little bit differently in Gold Cup too. You know, with Shaka, we kind of seen you playing through the middle. With Gold Cup, you play out wide. How do you feel about the different roles? Um, you know, at first I was upset about it. You know, I kept uh, getting mad at Greg, telling him I was a striker and I want to play striker. But, um, you know, I think that he, he saw something in me. And uh, I think that it was able to, you know, bring out the best in me as a player. And I was able to show, um, I think, the world and uh, even myself a lot of things I'm capable of. Um, you know, I'm not just like a player that knows how to make runs in behind or to finish a ball, but I can create as well, and I can take people on one-on-one -on -one and, uh, you know, cause the, the back line a lot of problems. So I think that um, it was a really good tournament for me overall. Had you played out wide in kind of that role before? Um, growing up, I played midfielder, and uh, I did that all the way up until I was 17, and then I played striker for two years, and then... Um, I didn't really play in the wide area, maybe a few games, but uh, I mainly just played striker and midfield growing up. So um, I think it was it was fun to be able to go out wide, to be able to always have someone you know in front of me, in the middle and behind me, and to be able to take people on. I think gave me a lot more freedom, but um, I think it also you know gives me a lot more value. It shows I'm able to play in different positions on the field wherever the coach needs me. So. So you haven't played in that position. It's your first senior international tournament with the national team. And the coach says, all right, we're going to throw you out wide. What's that conversation like? Um, like I said before, at first I was uh, a little upset, except uh, you know, I, I understood what he wanted and I was able to execute it. So um, you know, I kind of enjoyed a little bit too, you know, playing out wide, being able to, to have that freedom. So um, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to play wherever he needs me, left wing, right wing, striker, but I still think that uh, you know, I'm, I'm the best at striker. So. I was about to say, you haven't ruled striker out yet, have you, right? Do you, you still see yourself competing for that spot no. uh, in this current cycle? Yeah, I, I see myself uh, as a striker still, and uh, you know, but I'm ready to play anything he needs me, so. So tell me about the T-shirt with Greg Berhalter. Like, what was what? Where was that born of, and and how quickly did you have to get those made up? Because it seemed like they went from nothing to like the most popular thing on the internet overnight once people saw you wearing it after the Gold Cup. Yeah. So, uh, Greg and I, I think, uh, you know, he he was a player too. So uh, I think he understood where I was coming from. I I just wanted to play in the game, you know, but. Um, you know, I came up with the idea and my agent got the shirts made like uh, right away. And then, um, you know, because he's, he's like that. He, he always, uh, if I ask for something, he gets it done. So 
um, he was able to get it for me, and then we were able to have a, a special moment, and I think that a lot of people enjoyed it. So, Are we going to get some Matthew Hoppy merch anytime soon? Uh, Sell them I'm on your website, it, man. You know, Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about maybe uh, releasing something in the future. We, we'll see about that. But, uh, you know, right now the focus is uh, with, with my team, with my season, and then we'll see, we'll see where it branches off to. So you mentioned something interesting before. You, you make your debut with the national team, with the senior team. It's kind of crazy that you never got a youth national team call-up. Have you thought about that before? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was frustrating for me growing up, but, um, you know, I think that that's how it was meant to, meant to happen. I was able to, you know, use that as fuel to keep working hard to show that, um, you know, I can be or that I am one of the, the best players in the country and I deserve to be there. So I think that, um, you know, I was able to show a lot of uh, hard work and, and dedication through even not getting recognized. I think it was it was uh, difficult for me, but um, I think it worked out. And yeah, I'm happy to, to be there now, so. Was there a time when you thought like, man, this might not happen? Because I was looking back through some of your goal scoring records, you're like, leading the DA in goals with an overwhelming amount to not be called into the national team when, when you're doing that, the youth national teams would, you know, would, would certainly if I was a player, would, it would make me feel like not valued. Was there a time when you kind of felt like, man, is this, is this ever going to happen for me? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was frustrating growing up, but, um, you know, it pushed me to become the person I am today. So um, looking back, I think that, you know, that, that's, that's how life goes and you just have to keep going forward. You can't you know, uh, waste your time asking questions like, why am I not there? Why is this not happening? You just have to keep working hard and eventually um, your time will come. So you just have to be ready for that. You were in the Gold Cup team, but you weren't in the team for the latest qualifiers. I'm sure you watched them. What's it like, you know, knowing that you're going to be part of that, but watching from afar for games that really are what's going to determine whether this team goes to Qatar or not? Yeah, I still think... Uh, you know, I would have liked to be there. It would have been nice to be there, but um, you know, I had to to be real with myself and the situation I was in, and I had to focus on settling in, playing with my club, and um, you know, put all my effort into where I am now in the moment, and then focusing on the next call up and going there. So, um, yeah, it was difficult not to be there with the boys, but um, I think it was it was the best thing, and it had to happen like that. So. Um, We'll see, we'll see what the future holds for the next qualifiers. What's it like watching those games from afar? Because I can imagine that that must just be tough. Yeah, so um, the games, uh, I wasn't able to watch them live. I was only able to watch the highlights and stuff. Um, because, uh, you know, it's going on at 3 in the morning, and then um, I don't have uh, Paramount Plus, I think, so I need to, to get that. So. <laughs> So um, tell me a little bit about, like, as, as you're kind of going through this, this period of time, one, you're not with the national team, but it's also the end of the transfer window. Do you think being with your club at that time kind of helped this deal get done? Like, is there some way you can look back at this and say, okay, I, I missed that call up, but in the end it helped maybe facilitate this move to Mallorca? Yeah, so uh, the dates for the camp, uh, I think, we had to leave on the 28th or 29th, and then the transfer window closed on the 31st. Um, and then my my deal it came down to the 30th at midnight when I found out where I was going. So um, I found out exactly 12:45 where I was going, and um, you know I had to pack up all my stuff and head to the airport 2:30 in the morning. So I think uh, if I would have gone to the camp, um, I might not have been where I am right now. So. I think um, you know it worked out how it's supposed to work out, and um, yeah, I just have to be ready for for wherever I'm needed next. So, let's talk season goals then before we let you out of here, and let's start with Mallorca. What are your goals individually for your first season in La Liga? Yeah, so um, I want to be able to have a lot of playing time. I want to um, you know keep developing in that way, and then. Obviously, want to score score some goals. I think uh, ten goals, ten plus goals will be 
um, something good to, to reach for. Um, and yeah, stay stay in the league, uh, compete with, with the top teams, maybe, um, you know, Champions League or uh, Europa League spot. So um, I think we have a promising team with uh, a lot of talent. So I think we can we can shock the world. So. I like it. No lack of confidence there. Right, what about with the national team? We got some some huge qualifiers coming up in just a couple of weeks. Yeah. So, uh, with the national team, the the biggest goal is to qualify. I think, and um, you know, not just in the second or third seed. I think we want to go for the first seed. So, um, we need to win win all the difficult games, no matter uh, how how ugly they might be. We need to to get those wins because they're important for us and. Um, you know, just to be there and uh, hopefully get some goals over there, that'd be um, another goal of mine, so. How close do you feel to the call-up list for October? Can, can you taste it? Do you want it? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, you know, hopeful for it. I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I'm wanting to be there with the guys, so uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but, um, I think it's looking pretty good. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.